left off dealing with setting up JSON uh, or JWT Sessions Gym, which is basically a way to do token author authentication with our app through our View app to our Rails app. It's complicated as hell. I'm sorry if it was, but this is what I had to go through to understand this. It's probably why it's taken me this long to get this damn series live. So I hope you appreciate it. Anyway, uh, what I want to do next is deal with our routing and our controllers just to make sure they're set up for our view app to, to actually digest and use. While I'm at it, let's go ahead and just go to our routes and establish these new controllers we just made. So right now, this is what my routes looks like. I want to make it a little more friendly for our view app. So I'm actually going to define legit requests routes. Um, this isn't something that's normal for a Rails app, but it is for the sake of our API based app. So we made a refresh controller. So I'm going to actually call it post and then we'll actually pass in the controller I'm referencing and we'll call it refresh, which is literally what I just closed refresh here uh, and then we'll tell what action is create so post typically goes to create um, put goes to edit or update basic crud there if you're not used to that uh, so what we'll do is the same for sign in uh, controller has its own controller so sign in Everything here is lowercase in action again, create. And we're very explicit with these just because I want them to be defined like definitive routes. Uh, this will be sign up and we'll pass in a controller. Guess you can probably guess what this one is. And again, guess what the action is. Cool. Uh, looks like I forgot a quote here. And finally, I want a, let's see, post, 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 and a delete for sign in. So that's basically saying log out, but I won't call it that. I'll just, it needs to go to the same route. So we need to call it sign in still, but we'll just pass a different action. So it'll be sign in action destroy. All right, so that's essentially what our in our routes will end up looking like as your app grows. I'm sure this would grow along with it. These can get very big. So we'll leave it at that. Controllers still need some love. We basically have them ready to just create do the basic CRUD operations, but I want to be relative to the current user. Uh, so what we'll really end up doing is also adding some before actions that allow certain things to happen, assuming that the user is signed in. So before action is going to be uh, one that we get on the other controllers. Authorize access request. So basically I'm saying for every action here, I want to authorize you to sign in. Um, that could be the same on our artist. Uh, this is, excuse me, this should be on our records controller. This could be the same on our artist controller. Um, I didn't go that far with the app simply for time's sake, but you could do the same thing and scope everything to the current user. So what I want to do instead of record at all is current user, assuming the user is going to be signed in, they should be at this point uh, because of this here. We need to get all the users current records and render them back as JSON in this scoped way. Uh, and then the same is true for creating a new record. So current user records build I've done this in past. If you remember back or have done previous builds along with me, uh, the same is true for the set record though. We need to set a current user dot records find the params. And then here I don't need a user ID. I'm not going to submit that. I do need, whoops, I do need the artist ID though. And then on our artist controller, kind of a similar concept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is, uh, but we do need to set the board for action just on everything except the show and index. So I'm going to do that now. Except 
show in index. So here I don't need the user to log in. I don't need the user to log in here either. Here I should probably, you know, scope that to the current user. I'm not going to worry about it because I didn't do that in my demo. Um, I just wanted to note that though, that you could probably extend this out further to do such a thing. All right. So I think we're good on the controller level now. Um, just to double check that we get data back, let's go and in our home controller, do some just general data artists all and then render JSON artist. All right, so we don't have any data yet. Um, we need to actually create that, but let's see if we can start our server. We can still go to localhost and see our app. Uh, looks like this is not right. Syntax error. Ah, I have a typo here. So width should have a colon right there. That's why I couldn't find that. Uh, so I'll go ahead and refresh that. So I found a typo on the Rails authorization text here. Uh, that was bad. And then the width with the, the colon, I had this and it should have been this. So fat fingers, folks. Um, on top of that, I had artists pluralized in my home controller. It should be artist. So I save that down and we get a response back, but obviously it's empty. We don't have any artists yet. So at least the server boots, it has a response. There's just no data. So what we can do is create some data. Um, we can do that with our Rails console. And what I'm gonna do, initially I did this with seeding data, but we can do the same with just passing in like artist.create and I'm gonna do it with a bang so it just actually saves it. And then we'll do its um, name. And I, I'm just doing random artists here. Feel free to use your own if you have preference. You see, I think everyone's heard of them. Um, I think that's one, we can go ahead and create that. So cool, we got one. I'll hit up and do this a few more times so we have more data to work with. So you can see I'm kind of a classic rock junkie slash rock junkie. Uh, but anyway, so there's, we created what, seven artists there. Cool, That's that gives us enough to go on. Uh, if I go to artist.all, we'll get all those back. We get IDs, a, a name. No user ID associated with them, but that's okay for now. Um, our records will need to have that association. Um, I didn't set this up correct in that regard, so this should have user ID, but I, I want the artist to itself to be kind of a public bank of users, but it, it's not a big deal for right now. So what I'll do is quit Rails console, boot up the server again, and let's see if that data comes back now. It does, so cool. So that's all rendering from our artist controller and our home controller. So what I want to do next is essentially dig into the view app. Our basic data layer is set up. Um, we still need to make sure and verify all of our sign in logic and all that works. And the easiest way to do that, I think, is just to get the view app up and running. So let's go ahead and start that. I'll do that in the very next video. I didn't want to keep this one long. I just wanted to create some data, show you how it's actually being processed. In the next video, let's set up a view app and get rolling with the front end. Hello Rails is my new course on Ruby on Rails. I'll teach you Ruby on Rails from the ground up. Visit hellorails.io for more information.